Hi everyone, I'm Ken with Orion Telescopes and Binoculars and this is the setup video for the Orion Observer 2 70mm refractor. I'm going to show you what it looks like out of the box, all the parts and pieces, and then how it goes together uh, to get to this final stage ready to observe the sky. Alright, well let's get started. Alright, well when you take everything out of the box this is what you should see. So first of all take an inventory and make sure you've got all the parts. I'll go through them fairly quickly. The optical tube itself, the three tripod legs, and then uh, some accessories, the two eyepieces, your diagonal, finder scope, and then the components that you'll be assembling. The uh, yoke that holds the optical tube, the little slow motion control rod, um, the accessory tray, and then various bolts to attach everything together. So let's get started and put this thing together. All right, the first step is to attach each leg to the hub um, uh, below the yoke. And you're gonna do that by attaching um, the long screws with wing nuts through the leg and then through the hub. There's a couple things to keep in mind before you do that. Uh, first of all, make sure that the tripod accessory tray brackets are facing inwards. You don't want them facing outwards because then you'll just have to remove the leg and rotate it around. So it goes this way with the brackets facing inwards. And the other thing, if you look at the top of the leg where the bolt goes through, one side has a hex shape and the other side is round. The bolt goes through from the hex shape because you want the head of the bolt to recess into the hex shape uh, uh, hole there. I'm going to insert it through the hub, find the hole in the middle, and then out the other side. And then take a washer and then the wing nut and tighten it down hand tight. Then just repeat with the other two legs and make sure that the head of the bolt gets recessed inside the little hex shaped hole. All right, now that you've got the three legs attached and verified that the brackets are on the inside, you can stand it up like this. Just be careful because there's nothing holding the uh, legs from falling outwards. Uh, prop it up like this. The legs themselves also are loose this way, so you've got to attach the leg lock knobs, which are these three medium sized wing nuts. They just thread into the screw hole in the side of the leg and snug down. Repeat with the other two legs. Now that I've got the leg lock uh, set screws attached, I uh, raised the tripod all the way up so I didn't have to kneel on the ground to do the rest of the assembly. It's just more comfortable that way. Again, remember that nothing's holding the tripod legs from falling out, so just be careful when you have this thing um, upright here. And the next step is going to fix that problem. This is the tripod accessory tray, and it also holds the legs together. You'll use the three sets of small wing nut screw and washers to attach them. And they attach to these little brackets here. Just do one at a time. You take a screw, put a washer through it. The screw goes through the tray itself, and then the tray goes over the bracket. And then take the other washer, put it on the bottom of the screw, and then finally the wing nut on the bottom threads on and clamps it in place. Then just repeat for the other two. The last step is to leave the wing nut slightly loose and then pull the legs out to their farthest point. That way the brackets don't interfere with the tripod accessory tray holes where you'll put your um, uh, spare eyepieces. Once it's out to its widest part, tighten the wing nuts down. Next it's time for the optical tube to be attached to the top of the yoke. And you'll do that with these two large uh, thumb knobs. Slide the tube in between the yokes, line up the hole and thread the, the thumb knobs through. Don't tighten it down fully, just leave it fairly loose, go to the other side, attach that one. Once both are in, tighten it down, finger tight it, don't crank it down, just finger tight uh, because you still want to be able to move the tube up and down by hand. The next step after you've attached the optical tube with the two yoke screws is to attach the micro motion control knob. One side attaches here, and the other side slides through this adapter on the side. You've got to do that first before you attach the screw up on top. So you might have to loosen this screw here so the hole is clear. Raise the optical tube up so it's above horizontal, and then slide this through the hole. Uh, the other thing is during assembly, uh, this might have gotten rotated, so you might have to by hand rotate it around until you can get the micro motion knob through like that. Then you're going to take the uh, screw that comes with the micro motion knob and attach it to the front of the optical tube right here. Then you can either use a flathead screwdriver or the included little stamped screwdriver 
to tighten down that knob. Next, the uh, red dot finder is going to be attached to the telescope. Uh, before you do it, it's a good idea to just pull the little plastic tab that protects the battery uh, out. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to turn it on because there's no contact being made from the battery. So take the little plastic knob, you can throw that away. It attaches on with this little bracket here. Uh, this is the front of the finder. So the front of the telescope goes this way, the front of the finder goes this way. So you've got the lens up front and your eye looks through the back end. It just slides into the bracket until you hear a click and you've attached it. Next, you're ready to install the uh, accessories. So first off is the uh, 90 degree diagonal. You'll want to loosen the little set screw on the side here and pull out the cap. The diagonal slides in. It doesn't thread in. It doesn't do anything else. It just slips in. Uh, make sure the set screw is loose enough where it doesn't impinge into the inside. Slides in and then tightens down the set screw. Same thing with the eyepiece on top. Loosen up this set screw here until it's flush with the inside. And then your eyepiece, uh, in this case the 25 millimeter, that's always the first one you want to start with. That's your low power eyepiece. It just slips in and the set screw tightens it down. When it comes time to change eyepieces, remember don't try to unscrew the eyepiece because you can actually unscrew a portion of the eyepiece. That's uh, meant that way for assembly. But when it goes in and out, it just loosens up the side and slips in and out. That's how the eyepieces work between uh, swapping magnifications. The last thing you've got to do before you're ready to observe is to align the finder scope. Uh, I know you've, you've attached it here, um, but it's not pointing exactly at the same object that the main telescope is pointing at. It's really close, but you've got to calibrate it to get that last little bit of uh, alignment. So how do you do that? You, you do that the hard way first. You've got to find something out there without the benefit of the finder scope first. So you'll loosen the lock knob here so you can move the telescope up and down. Loosen it here for left and right. Point the telescope off at some distant tree or a power pole or some, some easily recognizable object out there. Lock it down. Get it in the center of your 25 millimeter eyepiece. Then turn your finder on and look through it. And you'll notice the dot's not quite right. It's a little bit off. Well, there's two screws here on the bottom and here on the side that align the dot up, down, left and right in the image. So again, verify your objects in the center here and then adjust those two screws until the object's in the middle there. You might want to go back and forth a couple times just in case you bump the telescope as you do the work. But pretty quickly you'll get this thing lined up, calibrated with this. And then you can do it the normal way. Let's say the moon's up here. Look through the finder scope, get the dot right on the moon, lock it down, and you'll know that the moon will be in the field of view of your 25 millimeter eyepiece after that. All right, well there you have it. That was the setup video for the Observer 2 70 millimeter. It's not that difficult. It just took a couple of minutes. Uh, no big tools necessary. You, you just run through the directions. It's, it's pretty simple. Um, you're at the point now where you're ready to view the sky, so go enjoy your telescope. All right, thank you very much. Clear skies.